I've been working hard, trying to get it in, putting in work. Still doing my thing. I've been working hard, trying to get it in, putting in work. Still doing my thing. Get it. Work, do my work, 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 get it. Work, 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 get it. Work, 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 get it. Work, 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 work. Hey, good morning. This your boy, Mr. Quality, over here at dumpsjunk.com. I just want to come to you this morning, introduce myself, and want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. Um, I'm new to this, so y'all work with me. I've been in the dumpster game pretty long time, but the YouTube thing is new to me, so y'all bear with me. We're going to have a few little mishaps, a few little here. Hey, we're going to have some fun on here. Y'all going to see a lot of different things. Hopefully, you'll learn a lot, and I can help you build your business, and y'all can help me as well. So, like I say... I'm dumpsjunk.com. I just got me some new gear in over there. My boys at Moonlight, Moonlighting Design. I'm from Brooksville, Florida, uh, pretty much central Florida. We're a little bit north of Tampa, south of Ocala, if you know the area. A lot of you guys, I've been watching other channels. I want to give a couple shout outs to a couple people, especially my guy over there, Wolf Guard, the prophet. I want to thank him for introducing me to the world. Um, I got another guy, Josh Roman out there in texas thank you a few other couple guys i got some local guys here in florida we're gonna meet up with let's get some content let's get some knowledge spread and let's help everybody build the business and you guys help me so i've been doing this since about 2018 i started with roll-offs so i first Started back in about 2017 or so, I had one dump trailer, the one you see hooked to this truck right now. She's a little five by 10 with three and a half foot walls. She only equal five yards. So the story on that one, bought her. I'm gonna put some pictures up of her when I first got her and stuff for y'all. I run a tree service as well. So I was just starting out, needed something to haul with. Like I said, it ain't big, but it was better than just hauling on the truck or hauling on a trailer, didn't have to hand load again. I paid only $1,900 for it. And I said, hey, well, I got $1,900. I didn't have much money at the time. I don't know about you guys, but $1,900 is a lot, a little bit of money when you ain't got no money, especially to be just putting into a dumpster whenever you got a family to support and a lot of other things, you know, your regular household income and all that. So needless to say, we got this $1,900 invested in it. So I'm like, hey, when I'm not using it at tree service time, I need to be getting paid for this thing. So I made a little ad. I'm gonna put the video up. One of the first videos now, y'all don't be laughing at me, but hey, it was getting the job done. I throw this video up, couple posts, couple pictures, dump trailer for rent. People on Facebook started messing me. So, hey, I was renting it at the time for only $150. So I was like, hey, I'll profit $100 over the weekend, that's good. I do this so many times and I'll at least get the original $1,900 back. So that's the main goal was at least to get the $1,900 back ASAP, like emphatically. Needless to say, that started happening, boom, 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 boom. Well, the tree service is growing. I see the thing is renting. A lot of people calling because I'm turning down people now that are calling and wanting it at certain times through the week, other times whenever I would be needing it for my regular business. So I'd be having to turn people down and say, oh, it's not available and this and that and the other. Then I don't know about y'all, but when I start seeing missing money, my mind go to thinking, oh, I need to start having to find a way to, to net this money here. So I come up with the idea, I better buy another one. So down here, we had the storm Irma. Like I said, I got the tree service going on. And so I say the money that I make out of this storm Irma, I need to make another dump trailer, buy another dump trailer so I can rent one and be working with one. And of course the business, the tree business is growing at the time too. So I needed a bigger dump trailer. Cause like we say, she ain't number five yard now. So I buy this next trailer, which is a load trail seven by 16 with a four foot wall, two 7,000 pound axles. That's my baby girl now, that's Irma. That's Big Irma. So I buy Big Irma, get her lettered up, get all the rent me on there. I got her, I roll her around town. She's a big, 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 big billboard to me. So like I said, I'm rolling through town, people calling, da, 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 da. And still to this day now, 
I never had a business card promoting my business of renting the dumpster. So people calling now and I'm getting rent, both of them out. I'm getting the money coming in a little bit. So now it's like, hey, I'm just strolling, looking for really dump trailers. But then I come across that, hey, roll offs. So I ain't even know nothing about this now, y'all. I ain't been on a YouTube channel now. I hadn't looked at nothing. All of this is just coming off of this and my prior knowledge and skill set that I have. I had knew nothing about watching YouTube. I get these dump trailers. I got the roll offs. I go way out to Texas, get the package, come on back to Florida. And I have my mindset. I knew how much I paid for my thing. I calculated prior to. I already knew what the market was going, how much I could rent these for. So I had a number, a target number that I need to rent these at least this amount of time to be able to recruit the original money I invested in the roll-off setup. So once again, back to the grind, Facebook posting, Facebook posting. That's another thing you guys got to learn to understand is that a lot of people get these dumpsters and they think, oh, they just going to put the rent me on there and things are going to take off. It's not like that. You got to self-promote. You got to. You got to. I can't stress this enough, man. You, 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 you right there. You, nobody else. You got to self-promote yourself. You got to do it on all these free social media sites. All the free. I don't pay for nothing. And I want you guys to also do this for me. Y'all look right now and do dumpster rental. I want you to Google me. Everything I'm telling y'all, I'm not on nothing else. But my social media sites, I'm not on nothing else. You're not going to find me on Google. You're not going to find me on none of that. So I want you guys to sit down right now. That's why I made this video actually is because before everything I blow up, I want you guys to understand where I came from. I want you to go to Google right now in Brooksville, Florida and type in dumpster rental. And I guarantee you. You will not find me. You will not see me up there. And my regular business name is Quality Property Restoration and Cleaning Services. You go to Google and put in junk removal or dumpster rental. And I guarantee you, you will not find me in Brooksville, Florida. What you're going to see on there, I'm not on there. So the things that I'm telling you about, and I'm going to put some pictures up of my fleet and some other things. So you guys understand the seriousness that I am about this business of strictly just off the dome and just hard work, dedication, being loyal and grinding, bumping and grinding, baby, bumping and grinding. You got to be bumping and grinding. So like I say, I want you guys to understand, go to Google right now, put in Brooksville, Florida, Spring Hill, Florida, anywhere in this region, Hernando County and put in dumpster rental and you ain't going to see your boy. No, sir. But next week, next month, when I get this website launched and a couple other things, you're going to see me. So that's why I'm making this video right now is I want you guys to understand that the things that I'm telling you about and then where I'm coming from compared to other people who are just living off of Google, who are living off of paying for ads and are on all these Facebook websites of, hey, man, how do I get more customers and, um, and do I pay for this and do I need to pay for Yelp and Home Advisor and needless to say, this is what I want you guys to do. You understand you got to self promote. There's nobody else out there. You look on TV, all these other people, man, they got commercials, they got all that, they got the finance to do this. But I'm talking to the guy who's starting out with one dumpster, who's starting out with a fleet of dumpsters. It doesn't matter. You got to self, self promote, self promote. So that means on everywhere you go, look, I got my shirt on, I got my hat on, you know, uh, my other trailers, they're lettered up. So when we go, we loud, we proud, everybody knows what's going on. So you got to do that. You got to get your trailer. You got to get your dumpster. You got to get it bright, big lettering so people can see it. You got to put all your information to where people can contact you. You got to be out. When you're not working, you need to be working on getting work. So that means you need to be self-advertising. You need to be going in the community. And like I say, also, I didn't have a business card. But now I put up a picture of my recent business card. Thanks to my girl over there, Rachel. I got my banner made. So that led me first to get a banner. I got a banner still before I even had a business card. But needless to say, I didn't even have a business card promoting me still all the way until December 2020 is when I got a business card. And I've been in this since since 2017-ish. 
So that was three years I ran a business a part-time. That's what else I want you guys to understand is I do this as a part-time business. So like now, look, you see the baby seat in here? This is the joys of being self-employed and your own business entrepreneur and stuff. I'm running off of strictly everybody where I go, I talk to them and I say, hey, I find out what they do. I, I wanna know what business they're in. I wanna know if we can help benefit each other, you know? So if he's in roofing, hey, I need to talk to this guy because uh, even though you see him with his own trailers, you need to talk to him, let him know, hey, I got dumpsters for rent. Um, you see landscaping guys, you want to talk to them because some of them guys can't get the mulch delivered. You want to let them know you can get delivered. You could charge them the same rate maybe as the, the mulch yard. But instead of them paying the mulch yard to deliver it, you could deliver it. There's a million different things we can do with these dump trailers and dumpsters to generate cash flow when you're not actually renting it to somebody else's thing. It's by you self-promoting. You're going everywhere. Every store you go to, leave one of your business cards. You go in the gas station, you bought a soda, then you see other people's cards up there, bam, drop your card. You see what I'm saying? Put it down. So if you spend money at that location, you want to try to recoup, even if it's a couple bucks. You want to try to uh, gain a clientele from that 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 location or anything because you spent money with them. Their business should be able to help generate money back to your business. So that's my kind of motto, how I do locally. I'm in a small town. Some of you guys are in big cities. I'm, you just got to stop and talk, man. You got to talk to everybody that you bump into. If you're in a five foot area of somebody, and you're there for longer than a few minutes, you need to know something about them and they need to know definitely what you do. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way I operate. But back to the subject, you guys gotta self-promote. You guys gotta self-promote. I'm not gonna stress it on you and keep beating it into you, but at a later date, we'll talk about it, but it is the main goal is you gotta self-promote. So I'm not on Google, but eventually I'm fixing to be. So then y'all will watch how we grow and build together. And thanks to you guys, this is going to be one of my first original video for YouTube, just for you guys. Um, I'm going to be adding a lot of content. I want you guys to be commenting, asking questions, all that. Help me out. Help me help you, which helps me because I need to build and grow. Because like I say, a lot of this, I don't know from nobody else but me. There's nobody instructional telling me nothing nobody's telling me nothing. I don't have no mentors around here that I can pretty much just, just sit down and talk with. When I first got into it, I called around. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to call around. All people always, hey, how much How much would this go? If you get a 15 yard dumpster, how much would that be? You guys, some of you guys, like I say, we're, we're in far spans far apart. So the main goal is to go to the three most and biggest companies in your area. The big ones, those guys that got the big roll off trucks, them find out their rate. And I'll show you how I calculate that down to where it breaks down to where I get the same amount of yard uh, per yard as those guys get. I'm not worried about what Billy Bob down the street has because he started a little butt dumpster business and he got one or two dumpsters and he's written his for such and such because he wants to beat the competition. I'm never going to be the cheapest, but I guarantee you I'm going to be still be striving and we're gonna gain money. We, we want loyal customers. We want people, we, I don't want people who want just the cheapest route anyways, because I wanna build a relationship with you guys, with my customers, with you guys as well. So that's my motto. So when people are just calling around window shopping, I give, I, I try not to even have that as a problem. This is my stuff where I'm at in Central Florida, um, rates subject to vary, but I try to eliminate a lot of the questions and the the tire kicker type people, I give them all the information they need right on the business card, right on the Facebook, uh, the post that I'm making stuff. Um, you want to give as much information in your post without killing them because you got to understand these people are on uh, Facebook. So they're strolling, they're strolling. You know what I mean? So you don't need long paragraphs and all that. Hit them with the highlights, hit them with the, the basics how much it is, no hidden fees, blah, 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 all that type of stuff. And that way you don't have a lot of time wasted on unnecessary calls. People who just shop in to see who's the lowest rates. They already know my rates. So if you ain't willing to spend within that, there's no need to call, you know. So 
like I say, I drop these different places. You want to eliminate the tire kicker. So put your information out, do all the good stuff, make the Facebook post. You want to be daily, man. Even if uh, that's another thing, a lot of people, oh, I don't, I don't uh, like to set friends who I'm not really friend with on Facebook. So make a separate page. You can make your business page. And on your business page, you can add people. You want to send people there. You want to get your reviews on there. You want to do all that stuff on a daily, on a daily. That's your job. Your job is to make yourself have work. That's the whole goal of what we're here for. That's the whole reason why you want to be self-employed. See, some people are wanting to convert from employer employee to being the owner, the entrepreneur. So to do that, you got to generate work. See, when you go to work, somebody way up in the top office or wherever, the high management, all of them people are already doing all this for you. So when you show up, you just know nine to five, this is what you're supposed to do, blah, 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 blah. But uh, no, when you are the business owner, you got to be that guy up top because you are that guy up top. You are that guy up top. So you get up there, you got to promote your business. You got to do it. You got to generate work for yourself. So that's what I mean. When you're not working, you need to be working on getting work. So you're going around, you're talking to people, you're meeting. So there's a few things and it's and it's cost. It doesn't cost you a lot. Where these get these business cards, business cards aren't expensive. You get a bunch of them and you can hand them out. But like I said, don't be scared, man. You got to talk to people, self-promote. So I'm going to cut this one short. You guys stay tuned, subscribe, like, hit the bell all the good stuff and get me let's get some followers on here let's build this channel let's get as much informational content out to the public as we can to help other business owners to even help um even the customers understand how this works you know you get a lot of calls hey well how's this work how many days this that that or other so let's inform each other y'all help me because there's a lot of stuff on the computer aspect that i don't have nothing about i don't have the books like everybody keeps up on the, the tracking systems the the things like that so y'all can help me on that because my facebook friends know every now and then i'll be calling hey have y'all seen one of my dumpsters and i got a friend she has a, a tracking they have a dumpster company as well they got the big the big ones and they sent me the link for their tracking system and stuff so I still haven't done that. I'm still over here just slinging them and I'm hoping I remember and we're writing them down and good thing to my old lady, uh, Nicole. We'll uh, I'll put some pictures of up her working boy. Woo! A lot of y'all, y'all better tighten up, man, because she finna be running the show here pretty soon when I get mama on channel with me. So we look forward to this, man. I look forward to growing this channel. I've been slacking. I haven't been adding content as you guys may see. You see, I've been had the channel a little minute, but I haven't been adding anything on there. Thanks to you guys' help and a couple of the big other YouTube guys, man. I got to tighten up. That's it. Just got to tighten up. So I look forward to building the channel. You guys help me with being more organized. At the end of the day, organized. Like, if you looked around here, I'm nothing's organized, man. Nothing. So you guys help me get the organization down. Help me keep track of where the dumpsters are. Help me get it where it's easier for my customers and clientele to when they call their booking, it's easier for the booking process. Just all the way around so it's smoother, man. Because at the end of the day, we become entrepreneurs to have more freedoms that's the whole thing we don't want to be tied down with the stress and this and that we want this thing to be a smooth ride so we can enjoy time with the family so you have time at the park so you spend time doing things you want to do other than working to make work you know so let's do that y'all help me get on that avenue because right now that's what's got me down man trying to keep up on everything keep up on this service keep up on the tree service doing this doing that so I need you guys to help me get it to where even YouTube is easy for me. I don't know how to do the editing yet. I don't have none of this. So I need you guys' help way more than you guys need my help. But my help going to help y'all and y'all help me in return. And we're going to take this thing to the top, baby. Ugh. I've been working hard, hard, trying to get it in, putting in work. Still doing my thing. I've been working hard, hard, trying to get it in.